Okay, uh, welcome to the uh, Yuma 68 820 micro desktop booting up with Parabola Linux XFCE4 and LXDE's display manager. We're currently um, here's, a, here's a micro desktop board connected uh, VGA um, currently got really set up 1024 by 768 there, this is a USB uh, Ethernet dongle. Um, there we go. It's OpenRC is installed. I really cannot stand System D. Uh, it's just it's just intolerable. So um, I replace that with OpenRC. Um, we're currently setting the date using NTP date there. All right, uh, so that's a login there. All right, great. Now here we've to save some power. Basically, what this is running from is a one of those standard USB charger devices, which uh, goes around there to under underneath here is wired in. This is one of the this board. This chip blew up. It's one of the last ones I've got that's functional. Um, so uh, we have a Logitech keyboard which has uh, both a built-in uh, mouse and uh, a mouse trackpad and keyboard uh, thing. So I think P D N G U I N. Dunk. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Ooh, bright lights. Okay, so we have uh, the usual LXDE and applications, Office, Libra Office 5. We also have print manager set up. Uh, yeah, yeah, untitled document, blah, blah, blah. Yes, we want to discard that. Go away. So we have, uh, we have uh, cups connected using the standard system config printer. And we can't get um, IceCat on here yet, uh, on Parabola, on the ARM V7H architecture. So um, we've got Midor Midori and one other WebKit based web browser on here. Uh, restore session. Yeah. Restore all that and just use the. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've got slash dot and the BBC. Now, there isn't quite enough power um, in this setup where you're powering it from USB devices. Um, uh, from uh, from the USB, even from this charger, um, to power that it, it thing, it's uh, uh, rather annoying. Um, normally, you would have two USB ports on here, and that would, and uh, you know, a three amp uh, power supply. Um, there would be more than enough power for this, um, but uh, unfortunately, that it's not a happy bunny. So the USB Ethernet is uh, overcurrent and is dropping out on a regular basis. But really, slash dot, slash dot's up, and yeah, you can see it's network unreachable, blah blah blah. But and then you try it again, and it's all right because of the power dropouts from from those. Um, that's not going to uh, be a problem with the 
with the final release boards is just because of that I had uh, this chip uh, blew up uh, which was you know that's the power regulator 58 power regulator has a jury rig something up um, but now there we go um, basically you can see it's functional let's open a Yeah, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> right, uh, yay, okay, so the usual stuff. So yeah, uh, you've got printing. Uh, I've also installed Wicked, um, which is the Wi-Fi, uh, Wi-Fi daemon, which manages network connections as a standalone application. I really like it. Um, so I will try a, uh, later on I will try a, a, uh, uh, a Wi-Fi dongle, a USB Wi-Fi dongle from Think Penguin. They've got ones that don't, you know, don't require any non-free firmware. Um, so yeah, this is a completely Libra uh, boot source code, completely available. Respects software freedom. Uh, doesn't give you uh, proprietary uh, browsers, etc., etc. All that sort of stuff. So it's. Sorry, proprietary uh, search engines by default. And thing I think they use DuckDuckGo as the default. So that's all. That's fantastic stuff. Thank you very much.